Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're all okay. So it's time for a beer review, and uh, it's a uh, Donkey Stone Brewing beer that came from Lidl. Yeah, from Lidl. Uh, two Donkey Stone Brewing beers that I've had uh, have been absolutely dreadful, and I've got no doubt this is probably going to be three out of three in the last time I ever have a Donkey Stone Brewing beer. This one's called Cotton Clouds. It's claiming to be a craft lager, coming in at 4% ABV. What does this say? Free your schedule to stroll through the cotton clouds, penciling in a laid back flavours of citrus, grapefruit and pine. A crafted ale that can take you from the hustle and bustle to the clear blue skies of liquid relaxation. Let's just go through that again then. Citrus, grapefruit and pine. It's supposed to be a lager. Who knows? Let's crack on. <laughs> Let's get it out. Get in the glass, see how she looks, how she sniffs and how she tastes. Uh, I can't remember how much it was. I think it's about 150 or 170 or 179 even. No idea. But yeah, like I say, I've done two two beers from Donkey Stone. A stout and the New England IPA. And the stout was off. And the New England IPA, I think, looking back at it, has probably oxidised as well. Uh, this looks rubbish. This doesn't look good. I'm trying not to be biased, but... I've had two beers from them, they've been poor. So, and look at that, that just doesn't, no head whatsoever. A lot of carbonation, but I think this is a nucleated glass. It's my vocation glass, I think it is nucleated. Um, but there's certainly a lot of carbonation going on in there. It has got a slight little haze to it. Um, it's just not very good looking, that is it? Let's see how it sniffs. It doesn't really smell much absolutely hardly any aroma at all on there really having to really sniff that to get an aroma yeah it's not really got much of an aroma that's worth talking about let's see how it tastes I'm trying not to be biased it's probably coming across that way let's see how it tastes cheers A rest. Oh. <laughs> oh. God, there's more in it. I didn't pour the whole can out. Citrus, grapefruit, and pine. A taste of smoke and ash is what that tastes like. It's really ashy. I'm not a nice ash. I know I've mentioned ash taste before. But this isn't nice. This is the bottom of an ashtray nastiness. It's vile. It's thin. Very watery. There's a very, very strange sweetness at the back. And it's ashy. It's all smoke, smoky ash. It literally is fag butts in your mouth. That's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. And I like a smoked lager. Smoked lagers are amazing. Uh, but that, And that's not even supposed to be a smoked lager, but it tastes like a really bad version of a smoked lager. The ash is horrendous. That aftertaste is horrendous. It's just horrendous. It's the worst of the three. I'm not going to keep putting it down anymore. <coughs> Donkey Stone Brewing. You've got to sort that out. You've not had a good intro into Lidl's with the three beers you've put in there. And, and that's just poor. That's, that's an absolute joke, that is. Absolute joke. How can you say, how can you dare put on the can flavours of citrus, grapefruit and pine? There's no pine in that. No pine whatsoever. There's no grapefruit. There's no citrus. Sounds like it wants to be a... a, a fruity IPA doesn't it citrus grapefruit and pine and you just get a fucking fag butt taste ash taste and a horrible rank sweetness at the back that's shocking that is absolutely shocking I said I wasn't going to go on and I did I'm done see you on the next one that's crap